Hello, I'm Mark O'Keefe. I'm the founder of the Innovation Beehive. I'd like to talk to you today about the third practice of leadership and leading in disrupted times. And that is a focus on leading in health. Now, throughout the pandemic, well-being has absolutely come to the top of everyone's agenda. And those leaders who are able to lead in health are able to lift themselves above the daily go, go, go and exhaustion of operating the business and focus on taking care of themselves and their well-being. In fact, over 70% of leaders that we interviewed talked about actively having a well-being practice. One way of doing this is thinking about what can you control, what can you influence and what do you have to let go of? And a great stimulus for this is Sarah Mill Rowe's book, The Shed Method. In that book, Sarah take, talks about taking control of your sleep, your hydration, your exercise and your diet. The four things that are within your gift to control for yourself, to take care of yourself so you can make better decisions for yourself and for your team. If you're able to make better decisions, then you're able to inspire people and bring them with you. It's important that you take care of yourself so you can take care of your people, so they can ultimately take care of the business for you. And to do that, think about when you're having Zoom one-to-ones. Are you having a check-in or are you having a check-up on work? By differentiating between the two, giving a space for well-being by just checking in and seeing how people are, maybe checking in on their sleep, hydration, exercise and diet, and they're having separate conversations about their work they're doing in a checkup, indicates that it's an iconic action that shows to people that you are focused on their well-being and you want them to keep well so they can take care of the business. Now, if you want to find out more about this, click in the link below to download our white paper. Mm-hmm.